you guys welcome back to another video i am cheryl here at the made on sunday studio and i talk all about branding design and creative entrepreneurship here so if those are topics of any interest to you then be sure to subscribe to follow along Today's video is a highly requested video on all of my Canva tutorials on this channel, and it is how to edit a PDF within Canva. So maybe you have a, you know, a PDF file with you right now and it is not editable, obviously. Uh, maybe there's an image you want to change or whatever it is, maybe you want to make it look more aesthetically beautiful. You can actually now upload this PDF document onto Canva and edit it right in Canva and then export it as a new PDF again. So I'm going to head on to my laptop right now and show you exactly how to do that. All right, welcome to my laptop. I have logged into Canva now. If you don't have a Canva account, definitely go get a, an account. It's free to sign up for Canva. And I always recommend everyone to upgrade to the pro version just because you get all these amazing features. But for today's tutorial, you can just stick with the free Canva account. So head to the description. Um, below and I will have my referral code for you if you want to try out Canva Pro for 30 days for free. All right, so once you log into Canva, I am going to upload your PDF. So I have actually found this random PDF in my files. Um, it was probably, let me just look for that document right here. So I was like a health nut, like, probably 10 years ago. And I mean, I'm still a relatively healthy person, but I went into my old documents and I found this um, benefits of activated charcoal document. It's a very, very plain document. And I was like, this is the perfect example for me to upload into Canva and let's see how we can make this look better. Um, but also just try out the feature of being able to edit this document. So as you can see, it's a complete PDF document. You wouldn't be able to add pictures to it or text to it or anything like that. So let's, uh, upload this into Canva and let's make some changes because this can definitely look a lot better than this, yeah? All right, so let's go into Canva and I'm going to click on create a design and I'm gonna go to import file. So go and find your file and I'm going to upload it and just double click and it will start uploading. So if you go to the bottom here, you're gonna see it like kind of being transcribed by Canva. I already did this two times, so you can probably see that there. Uh, but let's click into it. And within like seconds, I wanna say, it kind of transformed that PDF document into um, a Canva document, which is really, really cool. Let's just click into it and see what happens and see how close it is to um, the originals. So this is the original document right here. And let's see, what it's done. Basically for this, it just created an image out of this and centered it. Okay, that's not a problem. And then the next section, it separated out um, this text here. I mean, it looks like a pretty similar font to me. Um, and then, yeah, it basically made this into a whole text section and now I can edit it if I need it to. And then it looks like it kind of just did that for the rest of the pages. So basically it just um, transformed the document into an edi editable area so that now I can um, go into that. Let me just see what happens to this. The, this one turned into two different logos. So that's really cool. So now I can, um, is it a logo? Wow, it's a logo without a background too. So meaning I can put this wherever I like now and basically uh, move things around and change it as I need. Okay, perfect. So let's go into this document now and see how we can make changes. So I'm not gonna, probably not gonna transform this whole document cause it is quite long. Um, but let's 
go through some of the features in here and see how we can make this better. I know a lot of you have requested that, you know, maybe you work in corporate or something and there's a document that you're working at work and it's just looking quite boring or you want to add some images and you don't know what to do with it and it just needs to look a bit better. Let's explore some of these features and see how we can make this better. So maybe this can be a little bit more of an inspiration video for you. All right. So for this right here, I mean, this made this whole image, um, a, an image. And honestly, I hate the white background. So I would either go ahead and let's do two versions of it. So I'm just going to duplicate this. I would either go ahead and just make this whole page like that. And honestly, it already looks so much better because I don't know why there was this white background around it. If not, I would go ahead and maybe add um, an additional background to it. Um, maybe like that. And I think that already looks a lot better. Or maybe you can even put um, a little border around it. Uh, let's go to shapes and then I'm going to add an extra border around this and I'm going to position it to the back and I'm going to center these and just make sure that all sides are even looking like that or maybe like change the color to something lighter, something like that. I think that already honestly looks so much better. Or maybe we can change it to a green since it's uh, since it'll kind of match this color right there, like that. All right, that looks a lot better already. So, um, so let's move on to the next one. I honestly hate the text, <laughs> the fonts here. So I'm just going to change it to a font that I think looks better and maybe change out the font color and the size. So I think this will actually look better with an image. So why don't we look for activated charcoal? Okay. Oh, that's a nice image. Oh, I like this one. Okay. So that's a really cool image right there. And maybe we can make this a lighter color so we can actually okay, I'm just going to make this bigger because I'm clearly can't see very well. Okay. That's really nice. I'm going to make this even. Okay. Anyways, I think that looks really good. I'm going to move this text a little bit lower and I'm actually, I feel like there's some spacing issues here. So I'm going to delete that space out. Um, that looks really nice already. And then, you know what? I think that's taking up a little bit too much space. And I'm going to add a little bottom thing right here just to frame it a little bit more. And then I'm going to put a page, a page number on it too. So I'm just going to take one of these texts and then I'm going to put one I'm going to change that color to a light color and then I'm going to move that to the bottom right here. So then we have a little page number. Make this slightly. Yeah, that looks nice. All right. So this page already looks like infinitely better. Next page, I'm actually going to copy this into the next few pages so I don't have to do it over and over again. And then we would obviously rename these to page two and three. 
So for this section, I feel like there's a lot of like spacing issues. Like for example, right here should really be. Um, so there's definitely some issues with text spacing and stuff like that. So I would definitely recommend like going over and just making sure that everything, everything still makes sense. Maybe you want to like go ahead and play with adding some images. So let's say we wanted to add an image to the side here. Let's go back to activated charcoal. And I actually quite like this one or maybe this one. Let's see how that will look. Kind of cool. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> wow, that looks really cool. <clears throat> okay, you can definitely do a better job at like um, editing this text area here and like make the alignment um, more legible. Um, but just by adding some images, the, the pages are already looking so much better. Um, the next section here, I was thinking for like this tip, um, maybe we can put this in a box. So I'm just going to separate the text here. Um, so let's delete that and separate out this text box right here. And then I'm gonna put a box around this section, but more of like a, you'll see. I'm going to make this a little bit more transparent. Uh, that looks really good. I feel like it's missing like a title. So I'm just going to grab this title here and I'm going to bring this in and change out the color and alignment and you know, give it a title. I mean, I'm just gonna leave that there for now, just in case, just pretend that this is the correct title, but you get the point. Um, and then that just gives it a little bit more shape and structure and just uh, sections out the tip section of it, making it a little bit more apparent and easy to consume. All right, so those are just some ideas on how you can add images, add elements, get a little bit creative, um, fix the text and spacing. Um, and just like that, you'll have a really nice PDF. So I highly recommend going into Canva, uploading your documents and just see what you can do creatively with your documents. Uh, once you have it completed, so I'm just going to delete these pages that I'm not using. So let's say these are the pages that I am keeping. I'm going to then click on share, go to download, and then I'm going to <clears throat> save this as a PDF standard. If it's for digital PDF print, if it's for print, and I'm going to download the document and let's see what my new document looks like. All right, so I have my two documents now. This is the new one on the left and the old one on the right. And let's just compare and see what the differences are. So as you remember, we had two versions. We had either just this as the front page or uh, this with a border. So definitely looks so much better already. Um, the second page, we have some imagery and we changed the text for all of the titles and it just looks so much more structured and beautiful looking. Um, and then the next section, we added some images on the left-hand side, just give it a little bit more interest to it and talking about teeth whitening. So you wanna like show the product. Um, the next section, we again changed up the, um, the title of it. And then we added a box around the tip section just to bring out the different tips um, within the document, making it, um, you know, just more uh, easy to read. 
um, and then and then there we go we have all of these sections here at the bottom just to um, label and number your pages which also gives people an expectation of how long the document is and just like that within minutes we were able to update this document that was once you know super boring just text to now with images and different graphics to kind of make it a little bit more lively. All right, and that is it with the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. And if you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up and a subscribe. I would love to hear what PDF you are actually editing and if you have any questions about the process at all. Um, if you do, let me know in the comments below and I would love to answer it or maybe even create another video to answer any kind of common questions. Um, I create a lot of videos about Canva and actually one of my Skillshare classes is called Canva Basics and it is on Skillshare and it is a full three hour class all about designing on Canva just like I did in this video. So if you want to head on over there and learn to up level your Canva skills, then be sure to check out that class. You can take it for free with my 30 day Skillshare trial. And I'm going to leave the links in the description below. So you can head to that link, take my class free with my 30 day trial, and you will be a Canva expert by the end of it. I will see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>